Hi guys, it's Henry from Adventure Air, and uh, we have a special day, some special guests with us that came down here to see us today. Uh, we've got uh, Hank Canterbury, Todd Canterbury, and who's this guy? Pete Schutte, one of our fabulous instructors here at Adventure Air. And um, they've got some exciting aviation stories to tell you guys about. Uh, so we'll start with uh, Hank. Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, your aviation background. Well, <clears throat> I um, was in the Air Force as a fighter pilot for 30 years. And I had the opportunity early in my career to uh, become a Thunderbird. So I flew on the Thunderbird demonstration team for two years as a slot pilot, the number four guy that usually flies right behind the leader. And subsequent to that, you know, the Vietnam War came along, and my first tour was in F-100s, which I was flying on the team. And uh, later in the F-4, and then I've flown also the A-10, the F-15, the F-16, and the F-4. And, and all of this occurred after I graduated from the first class of the Air Force Academy. Awesome. Wow. And now I've added gyroplanes to my <laughs> criteria, to my uh, stable bit. See, forget about those F-15s. Gyroplane. That's what you want to fly. <laughs> that's what a jet pilot wants to do, that's for sure, is fly gyros. <laughs> I'm here to tell you they're a hell of a lot harder to fly than a jet. <laughs> And Todd, tell, tell us about yourself as well. So I grew up, obviously, in the household of a uh, world-renowned fighter pilot, so I decided to follow in his footsteps. Served in the Air Force for a little over uh, 27 years. I started in the F-15E, had a tour in the F-16, where I was selected for the Air Force Thunderbirds. We're the only father-son Thunderbird team in the history of the aerial demonstration teams. I did that for three years. Went back to the F-15, did a tour in the MC-12, which is a King Air, in Afghanistan. And then I finished my career. I did uh, two tours in the F-35. Wow. He was the wing commander of the first wing of F-35s and the biggest wing of the F-35s at Luke, which I was the commander of 34 years prior to that. <laughs> wow. So it's family business. That's cool. That's awesome. All right, Hank, so um, you've flown the, uh, the MTO, which is the open cockpit tandem, and you've flown the Cavalong side by side. Uh, which, which do you like? I like the MTO better, and I like the, uh, the Calidus, the one with the canopy, mm -hmm. the tandem situation. It just, uh, things just a little bit more even for me. And besides that, like everybody else has problems in that funny looking side to side family model there, mm -hmm. uh, flying straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think I had all the same symptoms wow. of flying sideways. Well, the tandem is much more similar to your jets, to Absolutely. your inline jets. So that's what you would like. Absolutely. And speaking of fast gyroplanes, I would make an announcement that Autogyro now produces the fastest gyroplane in the world. The Calidus, we're putting the 916 engine on it, 160 horsepower, fuel-injected, turbocharged, and uh, they were flying at 150 miles an hour. In Germany, they put the V&E at 140 miles an hour, just because people are going to probably fly faster anyway. Uh, so that is now the fastest gyroplane in the world, the Calidus with the 916 from Rotex. And having flown your slower ones, there are less horsepower, and, and one today, uh, it's a big difference in the airplane. Yeah. Man, that, that engine is great. It's, it's smoother. The airplane just flies like an airplane. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. really great. And that speed is awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, you ask what was the one of the most hairiest things I ever had to do? Sure. Solo him. <laughs> <laughs> what did you solo him in? In my Bonanza. Wow. wow. Is so this I, Bonanza? Uh, no, I, the one I had came out here with you before. Okay. Yeah. The F-33. Yep. Right. He wouldn't sell his airplane, so I had to buy my own. <laughs> oh, this one's yours. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got you. All right. That's yeah. great. But you know, a hard time before we get him to solo, he was flying. He was going to ASU at the time over in Phoenix, and we had retired and living across town. So he'd come over and fly the airplane. I was getting him a lot of training, just like you're trying to do to me, you know. And the question was, I said, you know, one day, son, I'm sure you want to solo this airplane, right? And he said, yeah, yeah. I said, well... You notice how clean the wings are. Every time we fly, we clean the bugs off because Arizona bugs have super glue for guts and they tend to stick. You use a chisel if you wait till the next day. Anyway, we're cleaning the bugs off every day. And finally, I said, You know, son, when you can fly between the bugs, I'll solo you. <laughs> well, I guess he did it because he sold it now. <laughs> yeah, but he's, he's gotten sloppy in it. Oh, all right, all right. But there's a sequel to that. 30 years later, he's, he's in the Pentagon on assignment. We had that airplane, and it's Christmas, so I go up there to visit him. And I'm saying, son, you know, I need to get an instrument fish to check. So let's go out and fly your airplane. So he put me over the left seat, under the hood. I'm struggling along for 45 minutes, trying to keep the needle center. 
Pretty soon he looks over and says, Dad, I can't sign off your IPC today. What? He said, you're not flying between the bugs very well. <laughs> and I'm under the hood. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Well, I've had the, the, the luck of doing some flying with uh, Hank here, and uh, he's gotten his gyro rating. And today was the very first day that Todd has flown gyroplanes. And, uh, and now I think he likes it, and so we're going to get him his rating as well. So that's pretty awesome. It's fantastic. It's, uh, it was a great experience, and uh, you bet. Uh, I'm hooked. I'm ready to come back and get married. <laughs> cool. Cool. We can do that. That's good. Pete, tell us all about yourself. <laughs> I'm just out here trying to help you out the best I can, Henry. You're, you're doing a good well, we job. we got two guys right here, Arizona State grads. So there you go. Oh, okay. That's right. That's it. Hook them. All right. So it was a good time. So I've been out with, with Henry for probably three years flying gyros, and we are getting a lot of people coming through for gyro add-ons and full gyro ratings. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, please give us a call. Come and talk to us, and we will give you an intro ride, and you'll be hooked. You'll love it. World-class experience. These are great guys. Woo! We love great, that. Great instruction, good airplanes, and just a fun challenge to do. So, yeah, you've uh, flown all these high-performance jets in the past. Uh, what convinced you to try the gyro plane? Well, I, after I retired from the Air Force, I wanted to have an F-16, but I decided I couldn't buy the gas. So I was using my F-33 to fly around for a long time, and I ultimately then bought a Pitts, an S S-2C, and I have had that now for 30 years, and I fly aerobatics. And I got to the point where, okay, I figured pretty well got this uh, straight-wing airplane stuff figured out. So I've always been interested in learning more about aeronautics and things that make funny little things like this gyroplane work. So I said, this would be a new challenge for me to go out and learn something new, learn about the different uh, aerodynamics of it. So I looked around and met you at Oshkosh and, and came out here and here we are. The rest is history. Great, great. And then you talked with this guy to do it too. He dragged him out of here kicking and screaming today. <laughs> he came home with a smile uh, ear to ear and uh, said, it's great fun, we got to go do it. So as soon as I found some time, came out here to see you guys, and it was well worth the wait. Awesome. He's, he's the first officer of the FedEx these days. Oh, right. There so you go. He had a, tell him about the hard time on the flare. He's used to flaring out of 50 feet in the air. <laughs> exactly. This one, you come in very low on a gyroplane. So we got him straightened out. He got that pretty quick, so he's doing very well. It's well, different. Yeah, as long as they don't bring that back to the S767. There you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Boom. So, Todd, I heard you won an award for the uh, top commander in the state of Florida. I what? did. I had the opportunity to uh, be awarded that in 2015. And uh, as they were presenting the trophy, uh, my exec looked down and noticed there was another Canterbury on it. It was his name from uh, the early 80s. So we both won the same award, separated by 30 years apart. Wow. Of wow. <laughs> and as I said earlier, we both were commanders of the uh, wing at Luke Air Force Base on the west side of Phoenix, which is the largest fighter training base in the world. And uh, both of us were commanders of that wing. Wow. Well, hey, Todd, Pete. Thank you so much for being uh, here today and flying with us, and uh, we look forward to doing some fun flying with you in the future. Thanks, Henry. It was a great experience. I look forward to coming back. Woo! Always enjoy it, Henry. Good talking to you. Appreciate it. Pete, I'll shake your hand, too. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Enjoy it. Thanks, Pete. Great job today. Thank you. All right, guys. Till next time, we'll see ya. See ya.